So I got this armoire for free. And I'm doing a little bit of repairs to it. As you can see, there's a little bit of white paint up here, which I'm gonna get off at a later time. This piece right here, you can see was broken off. This little corner snapped off. I've re-glued it back on. And if you'll allow me to turn the lights on, this piece was completely off right here. You can see where it split and then this whole piece came off. Someone had attempted to nail it back in, leaving big gouges and giant nails. And uh, I didn't like that, so I took it out. It doesn't look good anyway. So, pardon the shadow, but you can see the braces here that I've used to put this whole piece back on and glue it. And we're allowing it to dry. And this door didn't close either. The lip popped out right here and it was bent. So I took the whole door off. The drawers are in the back room. And I took that and I'm doing a little bit of an experiment sort of. To bend it back, I've got the bottom lifted and I've got an old broken miter saw that weighs about 10 pounds, or I'm uh, sorry, 20 pounds sitting on top of it um, to try to maybe get just a little bit of a bend back in it so the door straightens out and will properly close. Otherwise, for free, it's not too bad. Once I'm done with it, I'll probably honestly give it away to somebody that wants it. Um, this side over here has no real damage, which is why I'm not showing it. At any rate, as we go along, I'll show you more and more of how it turns out and uh, whether or not I can get this white paint off. I should be able to fairly simply. Um, otherwise, it needs no real repairs or work. Just a couple of uh, pieces of wood glued back on. So the last night, I glued this piece back on. And when I did, I could not get these two corners to meet. So I went ahead and glued it back on. And then when I was trying to get these corners to meet, I noticed that under here, it's difficult to see in this lighting, but you can kind of see it here. It had split apart. So after some struggles, I managed to get all the pieces together, glue in all the right places, and it's back in one piece, more or less. So, as you can see, I got the majority of the paint off, but you can also see that in doing so, I faded a little bit of the finish. And, sorry for the unsteady hands. I've gone back over it with Restore Finish and gotten most of it to look fairly good. Uh, luckily for me and whoever gets this after I'm done with it, um, it's supposed to look like distressed wood anyway. So this is going to be sufficient for that purpose. Um, and I'm still waiting on that door to see if I can get it straightened out. I'm going to give it a few days uh, bending to see if I can get it put back together and in one piece. But it's been fairly easy so far, except for figuring out how to rig that to get those pieces to go back together. So I've taken the clamps off. You can see it's back together. It's not the prettiest you've ever seen. Uh, however, from a distance, it's not as bad as it was before. I've still got to do some coloring and do some work on it. Um, but you can see where the holes were and the, the basically the, how much damage was done to it. How it was almost, well, the person who gave it to me was going to throw it away. <clears throat> anyway, I've taken some Restore Finish. I used a mahogany because it was darker, just to darken it up a little bit because it was so light. And uh, although you can't really tell that from this camera. 
and worked on cleaning it. While I was cleaning it, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and I was rubbing on this and jammed my thumb good and hard up into here, right underneath there, and cut it really good. So if you're doing anything like this at home or you plan on doing anything like this at home, be careful because all it takes is a momentary lapse in judgment or attention and you're cut. You can't see it here because I didn't film it, but there were white marks all along this portion and all along the front. And that Restora finish took all those white spots out and got rid of them completely. Right over here are the doors, drawers, and I've hit them with the Restora finish as well. And I like the way it's darkened it up from over where it was before. You might have been able to tell from the other video that it darkened it up quite a bit. But I like that it took away and hid a lot of the scarring and areas that had been rubbed or uh, worn down to whiteness on these. And I think once it's all finished, it's going to look really nice. I still got the drawer off, I'm, or door. I'm still working on getting that one straightened out. But I think in the end, this is going to be a very nice project. Once it's all finished and completed and put back together, then I will show you the finished product. So I finished and the corner has come out looking pretty good. And I got the door to sit flush. Uh, I didn't film it before, but this was sticking out a good inch and a half or two inches. Uh, there was a very distinct bend in the door. I don't know where that came from, um, but after some experiments, I was able to get it to uh, flatten out. And this is the finished product after it's all said and done. As I stated earlier in the video, I got this with Restore Finish. And then, uh, and I used this brand of Restore Finish, or not this brand, this uh, version of Restore Finish. And then I also finished up with some feed and wax at the end to give it a, a good shine and a good clean and give it some protection. I think it's a good looking armor now, much better than it was before. Uh, and I saved it from the trash heap and it'll be good for somebody's living room or bedroom. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you somehow or that you enjoyed it in some way.